How's it going everybody? So we are on site of a gym. We are going to learn how to dodge. I'm going to teach you guys how to dodge perfectly. All right, so there's a few things that you're going to need to know. First is you can't have sweaty fingers. Your fingers need to have no lotion or anything like that. Just uh, basically dry, okay? Um, second is you can't dodge perfectly with every move. For instance, if you're using bolt switch, you cannot do perfect dodging with that because it's just a slow move. You're going to try to dodge and then you're going to be stuck in the animation and you can't do it. Um, you can you can get off an attack and then dodge at the perfect time, but there's certain moves like that that you're just not going to be able to dodge with. Okay, and also it's going to take a lot of practice. You can't just go into this and just dodge everything. Um, the game's been out for a while. A lot of you have had practice since the game has been out. All the old gyms and just gym battling in general, you probably have an understanding on how to dodge, but not how to dodge perfectly. A lot of you may already know how to do this, so just, you know, enjoy the video if you do. Okay? Um, keep in mind there's also charge attacks that the enemies will do that are quicker than the rest, as opposed to like a thunderbolt and a volt switch. Which one is easier to dodge? I'm going to have to go with Volt Switch because it's slower to attack. For instance, when it does it, it you, you, you know, you see it starting to go uh, and then you can just dodge, alright? Uh, uh, Thunderbolt is actually just quicker, comes down like that and it just doesn't have that big of a time window to dodge, okay? So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into this and uh, see what it's all about. And one other tip too, which we're going to talk about this in the video, is the screen is going to turn like a yellow and that is your main indication when to dodge. But to be honest with you, I've had so much practice on gym battling and uh, battling all these Pokemon that I don't even really pay attention to that anymore. I just know when to dodge each move. And if you're thinking to yourself, well, you, you Poke, you don't really dodge everything, well that's true because you know, sometimes it's good to take a hit, and also I get a little impatient, and I just go ahead and just take the hit, because these gyms are not hard anymore, okay? And you don't need to dodge everything, as opposed to an, the old level 10 gyms, where you had to dodge everything so you can keep going as long as possible. So back then, I would dodge like a pro. Now, I dodge pretty good, but I don't dodge as much as I used to. Um, all right, so anyways, with all that said, Let's get into it. Okay, first up is this random ride on here. It has Stone Edge, so it's going to be a good example as to how to dodge and how quick it shows up. We're going to use Ampharos with Volt Switch just to show you how to properly use this attack and be able to dodge. All right, so you're going to want to dodge those first two attacks and possibly even the third. Uh, I'm just waiting here just for a minute just to, as an example. So if you're using Volt Switch, Confusion, Slow, Quick Attacks, you're going to want to use them only one time, then wait and dodge. If you try to get off two, you're not going to be able to dodge. You're going to be stuck in the animation. Okay, so we're going to be coming up on the Stone Edge here in just a second. I want you to pay attention to how this goes down here. Um, it comes extremely quick and you just have to know when to dodge right there. And there's real no indication. The screen flashes slightly, but uh, a lot of times the servers aren't on par for you to dodge and it just kind of like messes you over and you don't really get that time window. But uh, that aside, without any excuses, that's when you need to dodge. You just have to pretty much learn the patterns of these Pokemon and uh, spend a lot of time battling and trying to dodge. So um, there's that for Ampharos. I started to not dodge here. I was trying to get off two and I was like, oh, this you can't. Like I, I already knew, but I, I was trying to show you guys. See, you, you can't get off two Volt Switches or um, confusions without dodging, depending on the Pokemon though. And I did take that last hit, ouch, yep. Okay, time for a Raikou with his quick attack, Thundershock. And like I've said, the quick attacks are much easier to use and dodge, more ideal for gym battles. The slow quick attacks are for more defending. So anyways, we're going in here. Typically can get off about three to four of those, Back in the day in the level 10 gyms when I was just on my game, I'm still on my game, but I don't know, the gyms are just, I haven't lost motivation, but they're just not so tough. 
But back in the day, I would be able to get off four charges on a quick on a quick charge attack or a quick <laughs> attack and uh, was able to dodge afterwards. So, um, yeah, so here we go. As you can see, it's so much more smoother with a uh, quick attack ch uh, attacker. <laughs> Uh, and it's just the, the way it is, alright? And a lot of people have said, you know, that I've helped them to learn how to dodge and I haven't really quite made a dodge video before. Um, basically, they said, you know, just that by watching my videos, they've learned the timing and when to dodge and how to dodge. And uh, it's true. And there I go, dodge of the stone edge. Uh, so, yeah, it, it's basically you learning. You have to learn. Where, when people do the whole dodge a whole bunch of times to the side uh you know you can do that but uh you know it just doesn't i don't know i don't I, it doesn't look clean to me and i don't like to dodge left 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 i'm just for example say i just dodge one time and now we're going to do confusion um on espion for example if i just do one dodge okay perfect and then the next dodge i do to the left again i don't like to do that i like to dodge left then right then left then right it just looks more clean all right so as you can see here confusion is an extremely strong attack very beautiful attack it's super nice all right so uh but the only downfall is you just can't use it two times and think you're gonna dodge it's just not gonna happen um depending on the pokemon maybe you could possibly if you had a really slow pokemon in there but uh yeah, uh, and also another move to look out for is Volt Switch when the Pokemon is defending. That is a wacky move to try to dodge. And uh, if you can, just uh, when you see a battle video and a Pokemon has a Volt Switch in the gym, pay attention to how I dodge it. Um, it was super tricky for me when it first came out, but I have it down now. All right, so we're going to go into the next battle here with uh, Hitmonchan and Chansey. Uh, or should I say Blissey? <laughs> um, I think Hitmonchan's one of my favorites to dodge and attack. Super quick, and it's just always been my partner here. Really good, efficient, low CP, underrated, underused, and all that good stuff. So anyway, we're in this battle here. Dodging every single move. That's just how it is. Hitmonchan, always on par. See the yellow flash, then dodge. I always dad <laughs> dodge. I always dodge um, hyper beams. Uh, if you see me getting hit by one, it's either me being lazy or me being impatient because I kept attacking. But I will always dodge hyper beam. It, it, it's really simple to dodge, to be honest. Now, all right. So the flash came. Not those flashes, to be honest, are not always the best indicators to when to dodge. Uh, you're just gonna have to practice repetition, repetition. All right, and soon you'll learn the patterns. And a lot of times um, I get thrown off because you get into this rhythm, right? Attack, attack, dodge, attack, attack, dodge. And then when the special, you dodge. But the only problem with that is sometimes those Pokemon are unpredictable and they kind of stop. It's either server lag or it's just maybe the way they're programmed to uh, to be, or maybe the IVs are a factor on the Pokemon and how well they use their specials or how often they save them up. I don't know, but nonetheless, uh, you have to learn these these computers' um, predictions and what they're gonna do. Aqua Tail is kind of a annoying one because Vaporeon can stack it up three times and then use them all in a row, um, and then you, you have to dodge three of those. It's not a big deal unless it's on a raid Vaporeon, then it's annoying, but when it's in a gym, it's, no, it's a cakewalk, you just, you dodge, and then it comes again, and then you dodge. Uh, you kind of can tell because it just kind of sits there for just a second. All right, so this Kabutops has Stone Edge, I do believe. Uh, Raikou is just doing the work like usual. I'm not really trying to get off my charge attacks because this battle will just be quick. I just, I'm, I want to make an example here. So <clears throat> I do take a few hits. As you can see, it's, uh, I took two in a row there. Uh, my rhythm was off, and then I just decide to just go ahead and finish him because uh, whatever. But I dodged that last bit of Stone Edge, which is pretty nice. Uh, like I said, you just basically patience. I know I keep saying that, but that's what it's calling for. All right, so you just want to learn the Pokemon. Once you've learned all their attacks and how they move, you're going to be looking dodge good. 
the only thing is when we get new moves, new Pokemon, and all that stuff, you're just going to have to relearn all that. But obviously that's a given, no big deal. Um, so with that said, enjoy the rest of these battles. We're going to talk here in just a second, alright guys? Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. Let's cover this again. On these pictures on either side right here, you see that flash? That's when you're going to have to try to dodge. Um, I don't know if that's the best way to indicate that's when you should dodge. You should just kind of pay attention to the Pokemon and see they're not, they're not having the same pattern. They're about to do something different. And then you'll learn. You'll learn once you do enough battles and once you pay attention close enough when to dodge. Um, you can totally go off these yellow flashes, but uh, personally for me, that's just, um, I don't really use those. But, see that? Did you see that flash? It came. If I would have dodged right when the flash happened, I would have gotten hit. And if a lot of times when you see me doing the double back and forth, that's just me because back in the day it was so laggy. I would dodge and still get hit. I've learned to just double dodge. And uh, also, it can be a recovery if you messed up your first dodge. No big deal. It doesn't really waste too much time. Just a hoop, hoop, Muhammad Ali dodge. What? Come and get me. <laughs> all right, so, all right, let's go over this. No sweaty fingers. That's going to ruin you big time. Towards the end of this, I was getting a little warm in the car, and my fingers started getting sweaty, but I still was ending up to do, do fine here. But no sweaty fingers. Um, make sure you are trying to use a Pokemon that does not have Volt Switch, Confusion, or slow quick attack and if you're using those make sure you only do them one time all right then wait then dodge just you have to be patient that moves is gonna put off a lot of damage but you're just gonna have to wait not do two otherwise you're gonna get hit um, other than that just learn the patterns be patient and that's basically it a fun test for this will be to probably pick something that's slightly weaker or something that's not very effective towards it and just practice and keep backing out you have to use a few potions but that's okay practice makes perfect and it's going to be worth it because when you're up against these um raid bosses like level three or level two and you're soloing those and you want to be as efficient as you possibly can but uh, you still want to dodge this is going to come in handy big time because you know a lot of these Pokemon in the gym, you know, their their specials are pretty tough when, you know, they hit you, but usually it's not going to destroy you. You can just throw in another Pokemon, but for the raid bosses, taking those major hits is going to ruin you, and you're not going to be able to if you're trying to solo them or something like that. Um, you, you could totally take the hits on a lot of these Pokemon or the raid bosses and keep going and be fine, but if you want to dodge and just be smooth like that, then I recommend going to test it out on a raid boss try an executor try anything basically um except for uh, you know don't go for jolteon or don't go for flareon <laughs> anything else should work with that said thank you so much for watching everybody i hope this helped you out and i'll be bringing you more tips soon